Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about It Works Green Carpet. What is green carpet? Green carpet is one of the smaller events that It Works puts on, from what I know, every year. This is not as big as the yearly conference, the one that I went to. Green carpet is smaller. <music> So if you guys feel like I'm missing something and you have it, go ahead and send that to me and we can do that in another video because I think what might be good for me is to really keep up on covering these conferences and even smaller events that these companies put on because I think they need a little bit more attention. I know we talk about the reels a lot. We talk about, I used to do like a lot of just regular like written out posts but I, I think we need I think we need a little bit more exposure on these conferences. Oh, but before we get into it, look what I got my hands on. I'm excited. I think it was like maybe a month ago I let you guys know that I want to educate myself more so I can be more well spoken when like reporting on like the latest and greatest of MLM, all things MLM. So I got this book, Ponzinomics, which I a lot of people in the anti MLM sphere reference a lot. It's got like resources in the back. It it's an easy read. I like the font. I love that it's not hard to hold open. I'm excited. It's soft. This it's my favorite font size. And I don't know how to explain that to you from someone who hasn't read a book since probably high school. And that's being generous. It took, it took me leaving an MLM and speaking out and teaching people on their business practices to manipulate people to get in to decide to read a freaking book. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm one of those people where I will start reading and I have to, I will just read. Well, maybe this isn't me being super special and different. Um, I'll start reading and I'll read a sentence and I have no idea what I just read. And this, this has always been an issue for me. My parents did say at one point that they thought I had ADD, but that never went anywhere. I don't know. We don't know. It would kind of make sense, but you know, whatever. Okay, and I am going to put stuff on the screen for you to look at visually or clip it in here and there for you to enjoy, for you to see and form your own opinions, of course. Something that was announced was their line of hair care. And I need you guys to look at it. I need you guys to look at this with me because if you have been on my channel for a while, you know that I love good packaging or bad packaging. I love to talk about it. I'm a sucker for good packaging. I swoon. It's everything. Okay. It's, it's giving. I love that it's simple. It reminds me there's some brand that I'm thinking of that they're trying to emulate. I, th I think in my opinion, it kind of reminds me of that. And the line is called Simply Pure and they have, looks like gummies, thicker gummies, thickening hair gummies to make your hair thicker. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Their shampoo. Retail price, meaning you're not doing the auto ship, $44, $44. The professional lines that I think I would get from the drugstore, which are nicer. I typically don't buy fancy stuff. I usually just go to Sally's, but you know. The fancier stuff that I would want to get isn't even $44. Oh my God, for a bottle of shampoo, but the perks price, I, I'm pretty sure they probably just renamed that the for the auto ship. $33 for eight fluid ounces. Oh no, look at this. Perks member and save 25% plus a one-time 19.95 membership fee or the monthly subscription. So this is auto ship. Skip the membership fee with a convenient three month subscription. Oh, I think the membership fee, if you pay the $19.95, if I remember correctly, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but if I remember correctly, it's where you pay the fee so you can just order as you want, but you get the discounts. I want to say that's what that is. All right, they have a shampoo. It's cute packaging. Monate, who am I right? Who's that girl? We don't know her. So everyone at works is foaming at the mouth about this. I For you really quick, because I, I need you to understand. I, I don't know how to make you understand how outdated and not with the times it works is. Like they are crawling 
well, everyone is 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 already won the race. Like everyone else is already there. They're with it. They're doing the modern MLM thing, and it works. Is like crawling to catch up. Okay, I'm gonna play this for you. Okay, and you probably couldn't hear at the end, and I, I had to keep it muted for the beginning part because who cares about that because they're playing copyrighted stuff. But at the end, I don't know if you can make that out. I probably i am going to try to have to get the music out of there, but they're saying a whole nother level. And Mark's back on stage. I, I You know, Mark, he was the guy, my upline, she was like, um, when we were in, I was like, oh yeah, he's like really cheesy. And she's like, oh my God, I love it. We can all laugh about it now. I think we had a live on, a, I think we laughed about it on one of our collabs or something. They're doing that. And the Akalas are the new CEO, or I guess not both of the Akalas, the husband, whatever his name is, Terry, John. They had a little backdrop, of course, as one does with the logo behind it, a little logo wall moment for you to take pictures by and, you know, make you feel more like a celebrity than you ever will be in the company. It seemed to be like the usual raw, raw conference stuff. I honestly don't know what to say about it because it wasn't that special. There's a little bit of information, mostly raw, raw, motivational mindset stuff. Taking pictures with top leaders like they're celebrities and your besties, which is messed up when you leave and realize what you've done. Let's look at this video by Preacher's Wife. I know, I know. If she ever sees this, she's gonna be like, oh my God, she's obsessed with me. She's obsessed with me. And you know what? She's giving me, I don't know what she would say, actually. And she probably doesn't give a flying f about me or I would probably be blocked. Anyway, I want you guys to watch this and I want to dissect it. This dropped right after the green carpet. It's so crazy anytime I come back from an event because I feel like I'm just, I process so much and it's so weird because I'm not like, I'm more of a verbal processor. I don't know if you're the same way. I know so many people like process in their head. Um, I'm such a verbal processor. And so I'm just like finding myself, like talking to myself and really asking myself, like, what do I want in this season? You know, and one of the biggest things that I find is that there are windows of opportunity in you create opportunity, but there's windows of opportunity that are presented to you. And what are you... 37 seconds in and my first thought when I heard this, this is just my personal opinion. This is just me speculating. I don't know this to be fact. Take it with a grain of salt and make your own opinions here. Um, Please share them with me in the comments below. Sounds like she's leaving or getting cold feet or something. And she has been one of the ones that has shown up consistently this like whole time. As far as I remember, she has been very consistent she's been very loyal sadly to this company everyone's left she's still there gonna do with those windows of opportunity and uh, just really excited i'm overwhelmed in like a really good way uh just in a window of opportunity right now and so who do i want to be a window of opportunity <laughs> are you picking up are you seeing it too is it just me there's another top boss babe one who shall not be named because we don't do that here. I will say, if you know who she is, she was, I don't know if she still is, but she was at one point Mormon, I think. And she, I was doing some digging to see if she was going to post about the green carpet event, you know, because I hadn't seen her posting about it works. It's just all master resale rights. Um, in my opinion, based on what I've seen, seems to be a blatant fucking pyramid scheme one of the best examples of a modern day pyramid scheme and we're all just sitting around like how's how are people getting away with this in this moment what do i want to do how do i want to come out on the other side and who do i want to help while i'm here i go through while you're here while you're here in this moment in this company maybe I don't know, like maybe maybe the conference dropped some information and there's going to be a new promotion for her. Maybe she's going to move to corporate too because f being a distributor for this company. Waves in my business and you'll go through waves in leadership as well where 
you know, you have everybody and you want to help everybody. And then as things are growing and you go to the next level, there's some people that you have to let go. And man, as like a real leader, it can make you feel guilty. But just remember, it's not your responsibility to make sure everyone crosses their finish line. That's their responsibility. People have to take ownership of their own business. And we're just like walking into a moment where... Yeah. Where's this going? Where's this going? Same though. Literally all my same. You know, I have to make sure I reserve my coaching for people who are doing the minimum that is required, right? And uh, that could be hard. What, like mandatory running your auto ship? You know, even as a leader, leadership just, you know, it, it's one of the most fulfilling things to me. And it is one of the hardest challenges that could be tough. And it's difficult because in moments like this, when you are going to the next level, um, it's personal. And it's personal for people too. You know, I think like, who would I... I mean, it could be. But if you're running a real legitimate business, you can take it personal and you can have a personal moment by yourself or handle it in therapy or something. I don't know. Talk to your friends. But you need to keep it profesh. Like, who would I be if I don't honor the people who are running beside me, right? The people who are sacrificing, the people who are not making excuses, the people who are being disciplined. Like, I would be doing a disservice to the people who are changing my life and I want to change their life back, right? But it's always so personal when you have people who don't choose to put themselves in the game and then they get upset that, like, you know, you're not giving them every minute of every time when they won't even show up for themselves. Who is this about? Who is this about? If there is anything I learned from being in an MLM and not having to directly participate in the drama, just watching other people's drama happen or them come to me and like tell me their drama and I'm just sitting there like, that sucks. <laughs> Like, but no one cared about me enough for like me to be really involved in the drama. But leaders and I, I hate to put us ladies down. I hate to have to be the one. But who better to call it women than a woman? You know what I'm saying? Okay. There is a problem in these MLMs because a lot of the people in MLMs are women, right? There's a lot of drama and infighting in these MLMs and these like subliminal little posts where, oh, well, if the shoe fits, oh, well, no, there were a few people, you know, in general. No, I've been through this season before and I just felt like it was good to make it. Whatever you could play it off, making a video like this about, however you want to play it off, whatever helps you sleep at night. But people on my team all the time would make posts like this and I would know who it's about. And they would make this general, this general pose, not being too specific because the, obviously you're not going to sit there and tag the person out or you don't want to be direct. So you go and make an indirect video, a whole four minute video about it. What's going on? What's going on? Because in the beginning, to me, it sounded like maybe she's leaving or stepping to corporate. I, I'm just speculating on things that have we've seen other people go through. And then it turned to this. And so that's just a reminder, you know, I've been on the other side of that where I've had to receive like coaching and mentorship. And I was just willing to do whatever it took to continue that. But that's what I wanted. And not everybody wants that. And that's okay. And you know, sometimes when you're in an online business, people are looking more for a friend. It doesn't sound like it's okay. It doesn't sound like it's it's all good. It sounds like we made a four minute video. Because it's not okay that people are doing that. People are looking for a buddy. And there's nothing wrong with that, I think. There's nothing wrong with... It's just... Stop. Stop. Friendships, fun, and freedom. And sometimes people are looking for a buddy. Yeah. How many times have we seen it, guys? And in all these MLMs we talk about, all of us anti-MLMs, how many times have we seen it? Because they don't want to 
say that they got in it for the money, like there's any shame in that. They say they got into it because they needed friends. They were a lonely stay-at-home mom and they needed a positive community of boss babes. I think our community is bar none. I think we have a phenomenal community of inclusiveness and encouragement and challenge. And I think all of that stuff matters. Um, but at the end of the day, like my mission is to help women win. And there's always going to be people that sit at the table that aren't interested in winning and they can still sit at the table, but you know. I thought it was okay. Maybe she meant that sarcastically and I just missed that one, but it doesn't sound like it's okay with her. Really making sure that you reserve your time and your energy for those who are helping you and pour back into them. So just- You're a leader and unfortunately you do have to make choices like this. Do you wanna help people? who are jumping on your bandwagon, making you money, some might think, contributing to your paycheck in a good, in, in a big way. Um, you might spend more time with those people than the people who just want a friend because maybe you made a relationship and purposely led them to believe that you give a f about them and they thought that you were a real friend and they joined your team because you have influence over them because you made that relationship and they're finding out that maybe you don't and then they're gonna watch this video and be like oh f you f you that's how they're gonna feel i i remember someone else who's on our team commented on one of my photos and was like oh my god i'm so proud of you and i was like that meant so much to me because, yeah, I was like on Zoom with these people all the time. But she said that on my phone and I was like, oh my God, that meant so much to me. Little did I know when you get to, there was a Facebook group for leaders who were ab above me, basically. And there would be tasks in there like go spread love on people in your sidelines posts or whatever. So like, it was just an assignment. <laughs> and yeah, maybe she meant it, you know, and like, I'm sure she did. But like, when I found out that it was an assignment and not just like, hey, was thinking about your girl, um, I, I was a little like, oh. Okay, cool. Some stuff I'm processing right now. What does that look like? What does it look like for me to move forward investing and coaching in the people who are doing the minimum for themselves and then in their business? Um, yeah, Wednesday thoughts. We're just gonna throw up on the internet and what are we supposed to do with that? What are we supposed to do? What am I supposed to take away from that? It was this a rant about how you don't want to be a leader anymore or you're having trouble of thinking what you want to do because you're sick of being a leader and maybe you're going to go do something else. I wish I knew. I wish I knew what you were talking about. Oh, this girl, her photos, I remember, were one of the Mo I don't want to say aesthetically pleasing because it's not about her body, but th the poses and th she would have her hair done and have a cute outfit on and she would post her before and afters like that. So they they kind of like stood out than regular like standing normal as you should in a before and after photo. Like hers were going around. I bet they're still going around. They were some of the best. And apparently she's still in, which honestly makes me sad I thought she had left because I didn't hear about her for a while even when I was still in it works I didn't hear about her for a while so I was like oh she must have quit or whatever no she's still in she's still there and I stopped in 2020 and that's three years later and I don't know when she's that's too long to be in an MLM you need to figure it out faster okay jackets jackets now she has and we saw this in Monet they had the cute little the, these are cute jackets it's a cute idea they had little purple rhinestone jackets cute idea just misplaced in an MLM but I'm gonna give credit where credit's due I'm not just gonna sit here and be a negative Nancy about things just because it's an MLM okay I try to be like a little bit fair but she ha she has another page where it seems like she either does some it's some sort of girl group or she does some sort of coaching or something or I'm honestly not sure what it is. Okay, it was hard to figure out. But it says n next level on the jackets and that I think that's like the name of her thing she's doing in adjacent to it works and I'm sure it's compliant because last I checked She's a top boss, babe. 
All right, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a little likesy poo. If you have commentary to share with the class, let me know down below. If you know of any MLM conferences that you want me to cover, drop it in the comments, okay? And if you super like this video, share it with your besties and make sure you are subscribed so you get to see all of my videos. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.